How do you save your game progress between levels in Unity? After finishing the integration of your saving system in Unity, the thing that you might notice is that it only works in one scene. You are curious how to make multiple levels and ensure that the saving system will save your player's position, health, score and even the level scene in which the progress is saved. If you want to make a level system for your game in Unity, you will need to open your level loader script. This c -sharp script contains the if statement that checks if you have a sufficient amount of coins. You also need to add a static int that will describe your current level. The level value will be connected to the scene manager. What does that mean? In the load level script, for the integer that defines your current level, you need to make sure that it is checked in the void which contains a system of levels. If score manager score count is larger than the score goal, scene manager load scene is the line that opens the new scene. If the value is zero, it means that you are on the first level. Scene manager load scene sample scene. If the level value is one, you should write an if statement that says if level equals 1. Then it should load the second level, it will have scene 2 inside the load scene function. This scene is just a duplicate of the sample scene with some small differences. You can also add multiple levels like level 3, level 4, etc but that will make the level system even more complex. Now it is time for the saving system. Go to player data and add public int level. Save the script and go to player data manager. Make sure that you put the level value into the player data. For introduction, you should use level loader level in order to make it work properly. So the level loader level has a value that checks if your level is 1 or 2. If you have 3 levels, because the first level is 0 and the first value. So the next value is 1 and it goes higher. Implement the level value in both player data and level loader scripts. These scripts will update the value every time you play the game. When you go to the script that contains the main menu buttons, you might notice that the saving system is loading the level according to your current score. So the current score, which is loaded like this, will automatically load the scene 1, scene 2, scene 3, etc. So you don't want that. You want to be able to load the scene automatically instead of walking through all the levels. One thing that I realized when adding this saving system with level scenes is that the position is only being saved on the first level and when I load the second level my default position of the player is back and I don't get the saved position. I tried many fixes but at least I got my problem fixed after adding this part of the code. Add a new public void in the player data manager. Unlike load game, it will only load the saved position. So, take a closer look to the script. Unlike the previous script, it is much simpler. But if you use load position in the load game button script, which I will show later, you have to do something like add the capsule collider, because I had this error every time. Although I forgot to put load game button anywhere in this tutorial, I am showing you how everything looks like in this script. And I will also show you the next two scripts that you have to know. These are menu navigation and set current level. That's it. Let's move back. So this is the way how you implement it. Put it into the current level script. This is the new object that I have added. Simply by right click, create empty, name it current level. 
If you want a more detailed explanation on how to use these scripts, I will upload all these scripts on my GitHub, but you can also read the detailed description on my website. My website will also include the full description and explanation of all parts of the tutorial. Now, as you can see, the saving system is working as expected. Even though the saved player position is loaded instead of the default position, it's not a big problem. Now you can save the levels, the player positions, health and the number of points. And now you have a fully working saving system. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing. I will make more similar videos in the future. Have a good day. Goodbye.